Hello, this is Ray, one of the program presenters in the Atchison Planetarium at Cranbrook Institute of Science with a look at the pre-dawn sky for the week of August 31st. The two planets in our morning sky at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time are Venus and Mars. Venus is in the east and Mars is high in the south. September 2nd is the official start of summer. Well, at least it is on Mars. The southern hemisphere of the planet is tilted its most toward the sun and summer begins. Meanwhile, the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun and it's the start of winter. On the morning of the 5th, the moon will be to the right of Mars. On the following morning, the moon will be directly to the left of the red planet. One of the most recognizable constellations in the sky is in the east-southeast at 5.30 in the morning. It's the constellation of Orion the Hunter. The main body of Orion is made of seven bright stars that form the shape of an hourglass. The two stars at the top mark Orion's shoulders, the two stars at the bottom are his feet, and three stars in a row mark his belt. Below the belt is a small cluster of stars that represents a sword. Many civilizations going back thousands of years saw Orion as the image of a gigantic man. The left shoulder star is Betelgeuse, and the right shoulder is Bellatrix. The two stars marking Orion's feet are Rigel at the right and Saif at the left. Located below the belt in Orion's sword is the Orion Nebula. It's a place where stars are being born. Orion will guide us to many more constellations. If we draw a line through Orion's belt from bottom to top and extend it the same direction, we'll go past a bright orangish star and come to a tiny dipper. The tiny dipper is called the Pleiades or the Seven Sisters. The Pleiades marks the shoulder of Taurus the Bull. The orangish star is named Aldebaran. It represents the eye of Taurus and is located in the Hyades, an asterism that looks like a letter V on its side. Go back to Orion's belt and draw a line pointing away from Taurus and we'll come to the brightest star in the night sky. Its name is Sirius and it represents the head of Canis Major, Orion's big dog. If there's a big dog, there must be a little dog. Go back to Orion and draw a line from Bellatrix through Betelgeuse and we'll come to another bright star. This is Procyon in Canis Minor. There are only two stars in Canis Minor. The second fainter star is located directly above Procyon. Procyon, Sirius, and Betelgeuse form an equilateral triangle called the Winter Triangle. Last but not least, go back to Orion and draw a line from Rigel through Betelgeuse and we'll come to Gemini the Twins. The so-called twin stars are located above and to the left of Venus. Castor is a star above Pollux. Sunrise on August 31st is at 6.57 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At the end of the week, September 6th, sunrise is at 7.03. Thanks for visiting and keep looking up.